In 1931, Serbian archaeologist Miloj Vasic discovered a pit containing human skeletal remains whilst researching the Vincabello Brutu archaeological site in the suburbs of Belgrade, Serbia. In his diary, Vasic remarked the discovery as an ossuary with a dramas, in which nine human skeletons were found. Interpretations have not excluded that it was a collective burial, but based on a recent analysis of the original photo documentation, the position of the deceased has been called into question as to whether the burial was a Neolithic crime scene. Vincabello Brutu Site The multi-layered site of Vincabello Brutu, after which a Neolithic culture in southeastern Europe is named, is situated some 14 kilometers from central Belgrade. It was inhabited from the early Neolithic in the 6th millennium BC, Starcevo culture, throughout the Middle and Late Neolithic, Vinca culture, Copper Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, until the medieval period. The first archaeological excavations took place in 1908 until 1934, with interruptions due to the Balkan Wars and World War II. After that, excavations continued from 1978 to 1986, with further studies under the direction of N. N. Tasik from 1998 to present day. The site has revealed only a few finds from the Starcevo period, therefore, the tomb with the Dramas is of particular interest as it was constructed by the Starcevo culture. The first anthropological analysis of the nine skeletons was performed in 1937 by anthropologist I. Schwidetsky, however, after World War II only skull fragments from the burials have survived. After more than 70 years, they will be anthropologically examined again by researchers from the Laboratory of Bioarchaeology, Faculty of Philosophy at the University of Belgrade. In a study published in the journal Documenta Prehistorica XLVIII, the anthropological analysis has revealed that there was actually 12 adults in the burial instead of 9, and that this likely represents a Neolithic crime scene, rather than the typical Starcevo burial rite. Two female skulls and one male skull have been identified, whilst the sex for the remaining nine skulls is inconclusive. Only one individual was a young adult, 15 to 18 years old, whilst others were adults, 20 to 40 years. The average height of these individuals was 161 centimeters, which was roughly the average stature of early Neolithic people in this region. Traces of violent behavior. The typical mortuary practice of the Starcevo culture involves the deceased being buried on the left or the right side in a crouched, fetus position. However, the photographic evidence reveals that this was not the case in the burial, suggesting either a violent death or that the deceased were buried in a disrespectful manner. This is evidenced by traces of blunt force trauma detected on two of the skulls. The photographic evidence also supports this as it shows that the left leg from one skeleton was placed on its back, which was not possible without dismembering the leg, whilst the right leg was contracted with a broken femur. Based on absolute dates, it has been confirmed that the tomb belongs to the Starcevo culture, and the nine dated individuals correspond to a chronological range between 5700 and 5500 BC. Although some of the deceased were buried at the same time, this is not a simultaneous burial of 12 individuals, further adding to the mystery as to whether this was indeed a Neolithic crime scene.